In today's video, we are going to cover everything you need to know about how to set up your LLC in the state of Missouri. So here are the seven steps to setting up your LLC in the state of Missouri, but I do wanna say it is pretty complicated and hard to maintain compliance, so we really recommend you use a company like Zen Business. Later on in this video, at this exact time code, we will have a full tutorial of how to set up your LLC using Zen Business. Zen Business is a great platform to help create your LLC because it's super easy to use, very affordable, and they have a bunch of different resources on their website to help you with your business. So if you use our special link down below, we will will get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. And it helps us keep these videos and tutorials free for you. So thank you so much in advance. Okay, so let's start with step number one, which is name your LLC. Now you must follow Missouri's state naming guidelines. So you must include limited liability company or limited company in the name of your business. You can also use these abbreviations of LLC and LC. You may not use the words association, corporation, or incorporated. These are all abbreviations for other types of businesses. Also, you cannot use words that would confuse your LLC with other government agencies agencies, such as the FBI, Secretary of State, or Treasury Department. Also, you must use a unique name that is distinguishable from any other existing businesses in the state of Missouri. And the way to do that is to make sure to conduct a name search for your business name on the Secretary of State website for Missouri. You also want to make sure that you choose a name with an available URL because you probably will want to create a website for your business in the future. You can learn more about Missouri's state naming guidelines at the link down below. Okay, step number two is to file your articles of organization in the state of Missouri. Now, this is form LL LLC one. The filing fee for this is $105. Now you can either submit this online or by mail, but we just recommend doing it online. Now the next thing that you need to do is decide on a management structure for your LLC. There's two types of structures here. There's member managed and manager managed. So for most of the people watching this video, you're going to be member managed. That just means that you are going to be managing your LLC. And if you're manager managed, that means that you're going to hire somebody to manage your LLC. But like I said, for most people watching this video, you'll probably be member managed. Step three is to create an operating agreement. Now, this is not required in the state of Missouri, but it is highly recommended. An operating agreement is a legal document outlining the ownership and operational procedures of an LLC. This ensures that both the owners and the employees know what to get out of the company so there's no future conflict. Now, here are some things that an operating agreement usually entails. Number one is organization. This includes who the members are, when and where was the business created, and what is the ownership structure of the LLC. Second is management and voting structure. Three is capital contributions. Four is distributions. Five is membership changes. This is the process process of adding or removing members or transferring the ownership of shares. And six is dissolution in the unfortunate event that your LLC would have to be dissolved. This outlines all of that here. Now, this is obviously very complicated. So we really just recommend using a company like Zen Business to do this for you. Step four is to obtain your EIN in Missouri for your LLC. Now, this EIN number is also known as a federal tax identification number. Just think about this as a social security number for your business. This allows the IRS to keep track of your business's tax status. And this number is required by the state to open a business bank account and to hire employees. The good thing is that the IRS provides this EIN number free of charge after creating your LLC. And to get this number, you can apply online or by mail. Step five is to hire a registered agent. Now, a registered agent is a person or business responsible for sending and receiving legal documentation on behalf of your business entity. This includes tax forms, lawsuits, and government correspondence. This person must be a full-time resident in the state of Missouri. Now, this could be yourself, an employee, or a registered agent service. Now, the registered agent's address will be listed on your articles of organization, and that will be listed on the Missouri Secretary of State website. So this information is on the public domain, and we really don't recommend that you're your own registered agent because you're going to have to put your home address on the public domain. So most companies do this because they don't want their address, name, and information on the public domain. That's why they hire a registered agent service to use their address. Plus, you technically need to be available all the time during normal business hours, and it's just easier to use a registered agent service. So a service like this can cost anywhere between $99 to $4. $400. And Zen Business actually provides this service for $199 per year. So there's actually a couple steps that you have to take after forming your LLC. But right now I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to set up your LLC with Zen Business if you want them to do it all for you. So go ahead and click on that link down below in the description. Like I said, if you use that link, it'll really help support the channel. And once you click that link, we can walk through this here together. Okay, so once you've clicked that link down below, it'll bring you to this page here. And if you scroll down, you can see the comparison between the starter, pro, and premium. These are all three of these Zen Business packages. So let's just briefly look at the differences between all these packages. All of these packages include the standard LLC filing and the 100% accuracy guarantee. Now the starter pack includes 
worry-free compliance for up to a year, but then after that, it's $199. So for most people, the starter and the pro plan are going to be perfect for what you need. As you can see with the starter plan, there's additional services that they charge for an additional fee. So an operating agreement is $99. That EIN number will be an additional $99. Fast filing will be $79 and so on. There's a couple other services here. And the pro version will include these three services. So depending on what you think you would need, you can go ahead and choose. But for the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and show you the starter plan. And if you want faster filing or them to get your EIN number for you or them to create an operating agreement for you, then go ahead and choose the pro plan for $199. But even the starter plan comes with worry-free compliance for one year and then every year after that is $199, like we said. Let's just start with the starter plan. Go ahead and choose the pro plan if that's right for you. Okay, so go ahead and click start now for the starter plan. And you'll see that it gives you an outline of what we're gonna do here. And once you're ready to get started, go ahead and click let's do it. Okay, so now it's asking for your preferred business name. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that here now. And then go ahead and select your state. We'll go down to Missouri here. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click next. So depending on how much experience you have running a business, go ahead and select one of these options. Let's just choose none for now because let's just pretend we're just getting started. After that, go ahead and click next. Then you can choose how many employees you think you'll have in the first year. Let's just choose just me for now and then click next. Next, it's going to ask you if you want to make your business address your home address. Like we talked about earlier, this is probably not a good idea. You should use a registered agent service. Zen Business will offer that service for $199 per year. So let's pretend like we already have a registered agent set up. So we'll choose yes. Next, it asks you how far along is your business. Let's just say already making money for now and then click next. Next is what are your business goals? Let's just say primary income and click next. Okay, now it asks us the industry that our business is in. I'll go ahead and enter that now. Go ahead and click next. Now they'll ask us if we want to save our progress. You can just go ahead and skip since we're gonna finish this now. Okay, now it brings us to the registered agent service. So here they're recommending that you can appoint Zen Business as your registered agent. We'll go ahead and choose that. We already talked about the benefits of this. This is going to keep your information off the public domain. So let's click next. Now that we've done that, it brings us to this page where we're going to choose our package. Like we said, we're just going to select the starter package for now. But if you'd like that operating agreement, that EIN and faster filing, go ahead and choose the pro option. Let's just click starter and then next. Now it brings us to the page of worry-free compliance. We talked about this a little bit earlier too. It's $199, but for the first year it's free. This service is just going to make sure that your annual report is filed and that all other compliance issues are handled. So we'll just keep this selected for now. Go ahead and click next. Next, it gives us the option to add on some additional services. So this one is to save money on your EIN and business documents. It's an additional $149 for the business documents and EIN and just 99 for either of the two. Right now, we're just gonna say no thanks and then let's click next. Now it brings us to the operating agreement page that we can add on for $99 as well. Let's just click no thanks for now and click next. Next is the option here to add banking and they actually include this for free for one month and after that it's $5. Now you can go ahead and try this if you like, but we'll go ahead and leave some of our favorite banks that you can check out in the description down below. Let's just click no thanks on this one for now and then click next. Here it gives you the option to save time with bookkeeping. You can add this as well. It's free for the first month and then $30 after that. We're just going to click no thanks on this one. We'll leave some of our favorite payroll platforms like Gusto and ADP down below in the description. Go ahead and check those out, but for now we'll click no and then next. The next add-on they have is for a website builder. Now this is free for the first month and then $15 thereafter. $15 a month is a little bit expensive to get a website builder for you. So we'll leave a link down below in the description to some of our other videos where we can show you how to get a hosting plan for less than $3 a month. Let's just click no thanks on this one and then next. And finally, you have the option to get your LLC even faster. I'm just gonna click no for now. We're going to receive ours in two to three weeks. So that's plenty of time. Let's just click no thanks and then next. Lastly, it wants you to make sure that you review all of your information. So let's go ahead and enter our information here and then review it. And now that we're on this page, you'll see we can review our order. Our total today that's due is $50. Now this $50 is actually only for the Missouri State filing fees. We didn't pay anything right now to Zen Business. If you scroll down, you'll see that the starter plan was $0 and the standard filing fee is included here. If you scroll down, you'll see our registered agent service is $199 per year and that's going to be billed after the formation of the LLC. So we're not paying that today. Next, you're going to get that $199 value for the worry-free compliance for one year for free. And then all of the other add-on options like the EIN documents, operating agreement, banking, we did not choose. So those are all not included. And lastly, you'll see at the bottom here that the Missouri filing fee is $50, which is equal to what we're paying today. So Zen Business is great. It was $0 for the starter plan and the only money we're paying is after the formation of our LLC. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click continue to payment. Go ahead and enter your credit card information here. And then you're going to want to create your password for your account. And once you're finished with that, go ahead and click the button that says place order for $50. So that's how to set up your LLC using Zen business. Now, after forming your LLC, step number six is all about maintaining compliance. There are a bunch
bunch of federal, state, and local government regulations that you will need to be compliant with. We recommend that you look into all the business licenses and permits that you might need for your business. Now this will vary from state to state. We won't go into too much detail here, but just know that they may be required. If you're selling things, you may need a seller's permit. This will allow you to collect sales tax. And for some industries, you'll actually be required to obtain additional licenses and permits. Yeah, we won't go into this too much, but just make sure that you are compliant and you look into this to see which businesses and license you need for your business. And if you're a first time entrepreneur, we really don't recommend that you do this yourself. Hire a professional company to make sure that you're compliant in all the areas that you need to be. And the last thing is that you must file your Missouri LLC annual report or renewal form. This can be done online or by mail. It costs $20 to be submitted online. And depending on when you actually formed your LLC, the report will actually be due on a specific day. In Missouri, your annual report is due at the end of the third month following your incorporation anniversary month. And there is a late fee if you miss your filing deadline. It's $50 for every additional 30 day period. So you do not want to be late on that. You want to make sure that you're maintaining compliance there. And you definitely don't want to miss this because this could result in dissolution after 120 days of not filing your annual report. And finally, there are some big steps that you can take after forming your LLC. The first is opening a business bank account. This is going to keep your personal assets separate from your business assets. This will help keep your personal assets safe from any lawsuits. And like we said before, we will leave a link down below in the description to our favorite business banks. The next is to get a business credit card. This will also help avoid confusion by keeping business expenses separate. It also helps for tax purposes and helps build your business credit score. We'll leave a link down below to our favorite business credit cards as well. And the last step is to hire an accountant. This helps save money on taxes, avoid penalties or fines, and it helps you track the losses and profits of your company. For most people, we recommend that you don't do your own taxes, just hire a professional to help you. And depending on how much profit you're making, they can even suggest that you elect your LLC as an S-Corp to save on self-employment tax. This can save you a good amount of money in some cases. In terms of tax filing requirements, there are a bunch. One, if you have a seller's permit, you definitely need to file that. There also will be employer taxes, depending on whether or not you have employees. But usually a payroll software can do this all for you. And like we said before, we usually recommend ADP and Gusto. We'll be sure to leave links to those down below in the description. And in terms of actually filing your taxes with the federal government, for multi-member LLCs, it's form 1065. And for single member LLCs, it's 1040 Schedule C. This one will be for most people watching this video. And there actually are some new guidelines that started January 1st, 2024. This is the beneficial ownership information or the BOI form. Now we won't go into too much detail here because we have a full video on this BOI form that we will link here and down below in the description. But just know that if you are an LLC, you will very likely have to file this form. So if you're an entity that was created before January 1st, 2024, then you'll have till January 1st, 2025 to file this form. But if you're an entity that was formed in 2024, then you'll have 90 days from when you formed your LLC to file this form. So be sure to check out our video for more information on that. So that's how you can set up your LLC in the state of Missouri. We really hope that you got a lot of value out of this video and we'll be sure to leave all the links down below to the resources that we talked about. We highly recommend that you use a company like Zen Business to help set up your LLC. It's going to save you so much time and headache and make sure that you're compliant in all the areas that you need to be. If you do use our link down below, we will get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This really helps us keep the videos on this channel free and we want to thank you in advance for your support. Just a disclaimer here too, this is not tax advice. Please consult a professional attorney or lawyer to see what is right for your specific situation. With that said, this channel is dedicated to providing entrepreneurs and business owners like you with free tutorials like this one. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. We want to wish you the best of luck on your entrepreneurship journey and we will see you in the next one.